Angel Arts here, and welcome to the beginning of a very special Let's Play. Have I got a treat for you guys this time. I am going to be doing what I call a VA Let's Play of Earthbound. What exactly is a VA Let's Play, you ask? Well, you see, first of all, let me explain something to you. I have been wanting to start LPing some of the classic video games that I enjoyed greatly when I was younger. Um, video games such as Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger, Maniac Mansion, things of that nature. And I wanted to try to come up with something that would make these games a little bit fresher, um, especially for those of you who've already played these games before, or for those of you from some of the younger generation of gamers who are just so used to the fancy schmancy graphics and voice acting of games that we are familiar with today. And so I thought it might be really fun and interesting to do a VA Let's Play or voice act Let's Play and do a Let's Play where all of the characters in the game are voice acted by a whole slew of volunteers, a whole slew of cast members. So I actually um, started putting my feelers out there and tried to recruit as many people as I could. I started talking with fellow Let's Players that I knew. I went over to the voice actors forums, voice actors alliance forums, um, trying to find out if there were um, fan dubbers and um, other types of people who were rising voice actors and just in general people who um, thought that the idea of voice acting a video game might just be plain fun for them to do. And I'm happy to say that as of this recording, I have managed to find, um, I have managed to acquire over 30 volunteers um, from different backgrounds and different experiences who are willing to voice act this game. And I, I'm just really excited because I feel that I'm very, very passionate about this project. I feel that hopefully this is something new and unique that many of you out there have might not have seen before. Um, and yeah, I, I, I just thought that I really wanted to start um, with a game that is, in my opinion, the best overlooked Super Nintendo game of all time. I might even be able to argue that it's probably one of the best overlooked games uh, ever. Um, and that is indeed Earthbound. This game I fell in love with when I first started playing it. It is the script 
and the dialogue are just hilarious. Um, and I thought that it would lend itself very well to voice acting. The script itself would lend itself well to voice acting. So, um, you know, I, I am very, very excited about this and I have um, a few... One of the things that I also wanted to include in this Let's Play is the ability to add some original dialogue, um, in particular in the form of party banter. Um, so if you've played video games like Mass Effect or, um, or Dragon Age Origins, you're pretty familiar with, with the party banter, and that's sort of what I wanted to try to recreate uh, for this particular LP, just to give it, just to make it a little bit more interesting, and, and again, make it fresher for those of you who've already experienced this game, either by playing it or seeing other LPs of it. I've also been working to try to get some uh, talent to do some music composition, there are songs. There actually are. There actually is uh, a music group known as the Runaway Five, for example, who you meet in the game over the course of the story. And um, I actually have been working with some people to try to come up with lyrics for their songs. And hopefully, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We'll be able to have the voice actors sing and perform uh, some original. Uh, Runaway 5 music um, and other songs as well. So yeah, I hopefully, you know, it's it's a lot of work and I'm putting in as much of my time and effort as I can to craft this into something that I, I hope that everybody involved will be proud of and I hope that you all will enjoy. So sit back and relax and enjoy VA Let's Play Earthbound. So let's go ahead and start a new game, shall we? Please select tech speed. Let's go ahead and start with medium. Yes. Please select your sound setting. Right, let's go with stereo. And which style of windows you prefer? Plain, mint, ooh, mint, strawberry, banana, raw oh, banana, or peanut. Hmm. This is a tough decision, folks. I'm, all, I'm, I'm not even. I haven't even actually started the game, and I'm already deliberating what exactly, what exactly is going to be my flavor, because it will forever, forever affect the rest of the story. I'm sure. Actually, I can always change this motif whenever I want to. Um, I think I'll start with peanut because it's the closest to orange, and my favorite color is orange. It's very loud and in your face which I've been told kind of fits me very well, so... <laughs> peanut flavor it is. Alright. What's up? I'm the main guy. So here is protagonist number one. Those of you who've played any of the Smash Brothers games on the Nintendo system probably are already familiar with this guy. He is known as Ness by default. Um, you can name him anything you want, but... And there are a series of, if you hit don't care, there's a series of built-in names that the game recommends. Lane? Dude, that's probably not even a real name. I didn't come up with this. Lane is lame. Fine. Just to appease you, we're just going to give you the default name of Ness. And Ness is going to be voice acted by one of my fellow LP buddies, Lucky Jack 20. Alright, Lucky Jack. Here we go. Ness. Focus go. Oh, hello there. I'm the cute one. So this is another party member in the game. Who likes to jump? Uh, Paula, the token girl. And she's going to be voiced by one of my idols. My one of my LP idols. She actually was the one who was one of the people who first inspired me to do Let's Plays um, in the first place. And I am so excited, so incredibly excited to have her voice one of the main characters for the VA Let's Play Earthbound. It is none other than the lovely and very entertaining and talented, Shally. 
So, this is Paula by default, so Shally will be voicing Paula. Next we have this fine gentleman right here. He is voiced by EarthboundFan15. Love that name. It's fitting, isn't it? Um, this character is by default Jeff. Oh, I beg your pardon. Please make your acquaintance. Jeff is the... He's the... Nerdy. I guess. Nerdy one. He's the smart one in the group. Nerd. Very, very intelligent. Um, he's, he's good with tools and being able to repair stuff. He's he's a bit of an egghead, but in a good way. We like Jeff. He's my garage mechanic. He, we we, we, we like go. Jeff. Okay. Next up, the last and final friend in Ness's group is... Can you believe it? Can you believe it? His... His default name is Pooh. Yeah. It's Pooh, ladies and gentlemen. I was gifted with cruel parents. Pooh is going to be voice acted by Snavelis. And, um, yeah, he's this mysterious, mysterious friend from the Far East with, Im with incredible power. Um, you will see Pooh uh, probably somewhere in the middle of the game. But, yeah. So there you have it. And then the next thing you get to do in this game is to name your pet. See, I love. I that's one of the really neat things about this game, about the Earthbound or, or Mother series, as they call it in Japan, is that you get to customize. You get to customize your experience by naming your friends and naming your pet and naming other things. We're once again going to be uh, setting this up as King, which is the default. Yeah, King is his default name. King is going to be voice acted by one of my very special real-life friends, um, whose name is John Ings. He's incredible. I, I, I've known him, like, in theater. We've been, we've known each other for almost 10 years now. He's such a funny guy, such a great and friendly guy, and he's aspiring to become a voice actor himself. He's already worked with Disney doing like Jim Henson puppetry, that's sort of his specialty is puppetry and among, among other things including voice acting so um, and John Ings is going to be voicing several other characters throughout this this whole game so I'm excited to so I'm excited to um, do this with him so shout outs to John Ings, hey buddy, love you man, love you. Alright, next we get to choose our favorite homemade food! Ooh. Alright. Please. You, again, you can put down whatever you want. Pizza, 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 um, pizza, pizza. The game gives you suggestions hey. like steak, pie, hey. pasta, pasta hey. cakes, hey. eggs, bread, salmon. And salmon. Pizza, you know, pizza, there, that's pizza, a lot pizza, of pizza, really pizza, 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 pizza. I, I think I'm gonna have to stick with pie. I mean, come what? on. Who doesn't like pie? I hate pie. What are you talking about? How can you not love pie? It just doesn't do it for me, you know? Well, tough. You're loving it now. Wait, wait! Okay. I love pie. <laughs> Abuse of power for the win. I wonder what else I can make you do. Oh god, please, no. And then last but not least, what is your favorite thing? Oh, I can't say that. This is a PG thing. Yes. Joking, joking. <sighs> Hammer. Hammer? What? Oh. Uh... Okay. Don't don't be judging. Not what I not the first thing that would pop into my head when I'm thinking about what my favorite thing is. Don't be judging. Love. Uh, you know that's love is cool. I like love. Love is love is good. Gifts. Uh, that's a good one. I I like I like gifts. Slime. Well. Uh. uh slime. Okay. Forget what I said. You can judge that as much as you want. I, I don't know. And. Gaming, okay. Gaming, gaming is a very big. Uh, uh, gaming is definitely something that could possibly be a good, good um, possi good possibility for a favorite thing. Boxing, no, not really big on boxing. So, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead with gaming. I think that's very fitting. Um, fitting for us as our favorite thing. So let's take a look at this overview. Let's see. We've got our main four characters. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. Our pet's name is King. Our favorite food is pie. And the coolest thing is gaming. Are you sure? 
Absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. The year is 1990X. Thank you, Mr. Narrator, sir. Onet, a small town in Eagle Land. Ness's house. Aw, oh, there's Ness. Oh, hello, hi, huh? What the heck was that? Whoa. Uh, uh that was loud. Ness, I have no idea what, what that um, was. Do you um I'm a, I'm scared. You wanna go and check it out, huh? Sirens. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of the menu items. Talk to, who are you talking to? <laughs> Apparently no one in particular. Check, no problem here. Okay, What's, what do we got, our goods? ATM card, ATM card. You know, you shouldn't leave home without. It even works overseas. Well, it's good to know that we love our ATM cards so much that we decide that we really want to sleep with it in our PJs. To use this, go to a cash machine and insert the card. All right. And what do we got? We've pretty much not equipped with anything because we're just in our skivvies. Yep. So, and status. Oh, here we are. Ness, level one. Hit points, psychic points, experience points, offense, defense, speed, guts, vitality, IQ, and luck. Hey, that's private. Don't be looking at that. Press A for psychic info. Stop looking so at my this luck, is all man. of our okay. psychic powers psychic that powers. apparently we, ha we don't have yet. So, maybe we should go ahead and check out what's going on outside, shall we, Ness? Yep. All right. Uh, hi. Hey. Let's explore the house a little bit. Hey sis! How you doing there? Tracy, I think is her name. Hey sis! Hey bro! Did the sound wake you up? Are you freaked out? No, 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 no. I just... I, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Presents! Presents! I don't think she'll mind if I take this. Wait, I don't want to talk no, to I'm it. I'm not I want to check it. Ness, open the present. Let's see what we got. There is a cracked bat inside. Sweet! Ness takes it. Yes, the first thing we're going to do in this game in the first couple of minutes is steal from our own younger sibling. That is how I roll. Oh yes, Ness, you are a true role model for children all over the place. Hey, you're one to talk. Hey, it's Mom. Hey, Ma. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? Nah. And now you want to go check it out. Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to, don't you know? At least change out of your jammies before you go. I do like that she's honest like that. Well, that was kind of fast. I don't really have right. a lot to choose from. Now that we're ready to hit the road. Yep. Uh. Be careful. Come home soon as you can. Oh, hey, King. How you doing there, boy? How you doing? Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Well, why aren't you asleep? Because the game made me wake up, yeah, There's a big explosion outside. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't wake up. Ooh. What's going on over here? South, to the suburbs of Onet. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get very far down here. We've got some sort of a blockade over here. Hey, officer. Don't panic. It's just a... What? Me to like that. Who fell? I just want to... What? Go home. Onet police are infamous for closing down roads if something's going on. Man, 
We're going for the world record. Great. Glad to see that you guys have goals for yourselves. Make us proud. Hello, sir. I want to return home, but the road's closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Meteorite situation? Wait, so that's what that sound was. You don't say. Random kid. Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Yeah, you do that. I'm sure running in place is going to help you with that endeavor. He moves at his, he moves at his own pace. Hey. It's, our, it's, it's one of our neighbors. Hey, hey. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Sounds nice. Since your parents left you here at your house alone, naturally we're gonna go check check your pad out for things we could loot, obviously. Because that's what, apparently that's what an 11 or 13 year old kid does. I don't remember how old Ness is. I think he's like, I think he's 13. I believe he's 13. Maybe as young as 11, but I don't think he's any younger than 11. All right. Kid, really, if you're tr if you're planning on beating me to the meteorite, you're you're not doing a very good job. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butts home, Prano. You can't tell me how to live. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. The kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. The sharks? Are we about to get into a snapping finger rumble? Da -da -da -da. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you. Will it? You got that right. You, sir, are the epitome of Onet's finest. Hey, at least they're honest. <laughs> Onet's, fi Onet's finest, ladies and gentlemen. At least they're honest. Hey, you! Don't you know what time it is? Uh, no clue. It's it's probably in the middle of the night. Ooh, hey, look, a present out here in nowhere. Seems legit. Ness opened the present. There is a bread roll inside. Ness takes it. Score. Who stashes a bread roll into a wrapped gift box in the middle of nowhere? I am confused. Oh, hello, man. This hello, guy? sir. Hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. <laughs> it was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to make my body stronger. Uh -huh. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my... Ah, uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Okay. You're a billboard guy. Ambitious, are we? Treasure hunter. This is Liar Exaggerates House. I don't know if I necessarily want to trust a guy who's named Liar Exaggerates. He didn't have the best parents. That meteorite looks different than usual. Strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. That's the meteorite? It looks more like a glowing pizza. Glowing, radioactive pizza. Yum. Now I'm getting hungry. Great, thank you. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Um, uh, no. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. He's just a jerk. That guy going back and forth must be Pokey. Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Of way out, get me! Uh, whoops. Uh, my mistake. I mean, uh, get out of my way! Again, Onet's finest, ladies and gentlemen. Onet's finest. Shh, shh. Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops's, I mean, the officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. I'm bugging the officers. Pokey, you're the one that's... What are you doing, like, jumping around, going from officer to officer like a bee from flower to flower? What? 
Is that kid's problem? I... I don't know. I... I'm just gonna go home. So as I said, Ness is going to be our main protagonist in the story. Or should I say, Protago Ness. <laughs> oh my god, did, did you really just say that? What? No dude, just... no! You're gonna be breaking the fourth wall a lot through this whole exercise, are you? Uh, yeah. As long as you keep dropping horrible puns like that. I liked you so much better when you were just a silent protagonist. Never say that again. This, this is, is going, going to be, be a long LP. LP. Shut up. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Oh, not, not now. It's exciting. Oh, Ness. You don't understand the importance of a good night's sleep. Oh, Welcome okay. home, Ness. It's not necessary right, to talk right. about it tonight. It's late. Yes, Scoot yes, off I to know, bed I know, now. I know. Yes, fine. I'll go to sleep. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fall asleep. Later that night. Uh-oh. Later that night. Really? Really? Can I ever get any sleep around here? Really? Who's knocking like that? Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. You're telling me, sis. Telling me? Jeez. Mom, you're awake. Again. What are you doing up so late, Mom? Where do you sleep, Mom? There's only two bedrooms in the house. Where exactly do you... Do we make you sleep on the table? That's terrible. What kind of a family is this? My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Sure, sure. Hey, King. Ugh. I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just going to lie still for now. Now I get to get that image out of my head. Duh. Hello. Oh, great. Hey, l listen. Hey, listen. Listen to what I have to say. When I took Vicky to the place where the meteorite landed, I... Uh, oh, uh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> hey, that's my mom you're talking about. Watch it! Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, they're the local ruffians. They were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Piggy was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Would you help me find Piggy? No. You're a jerk. If you refuse, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Whoa. Will you come with me? Dude, are you serious? If you're threatening me like that, then no! Okay, okay. I won't say anything to hurt you. Will you please come with me? There's the magic word we all love, you little fat punk. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. And before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Hey, don't you agree, ma'am? Yeah, you're probably right. We're going out, Mom. I know that dog is unreliable, don't you know? But you should take him along. The cracked bat and Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Oh, yeah, right. Ah, I keep forgetting. Put on the same clothes, same door, same life. That's fine. N never any excitement around here. That's how it always is with me. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Cookie! Oh, thanks, sis. This is awesome. Yum! I like you, Tracy. I like you. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang on to something? Uh, nothing right now. But thanks for the offer. Huh? Be careful. Love you, sis. So Tracy basically is uh, the character who allows us to store items because we do have a limited, we do have a limited inventory. Like pretty much this entire box is. Oh no, I didn't need to eat the cookie. Huh. I wasn't even hungry. Man, that's not what I wanted to do. I, I'm still figuring out the controls. Why did you make me do that? She cooked. She probably made that for me with love, and you just squander it. Squanderer. That that one box is the only thing that we can fill up with items, and really, you can't have more items until you have more party members. Yeah, sure you're cool. Whatever. What? I can't believe you just said that, mother. Uh, hey, King. Do you want me to go with you? 
Yes, please. You're a big strong dog, you can help me. What? Oh, I get it. You just wanted to talk to me because I'm so lovable. You know it. And I'm just kidding with you, pal. Do you want me to go with you? Yes. Yes, I'd really I like to I have no choice. Let's go. Thank you. Woohoo! King joins you. Sorry about giving you this game type advice, but you should equip your weapon. Oh yeah, I got this bad, didn't I? Do you know what equip means? Uh, Darno? It means to use or wear. You must equip items in order to use or wear them. Equip is used in a lot of games like this, but you already knew that. Alright, you go out in the front, and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Thanks a lot. Whoa. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He he not only joined you, he entered King. He like dove into his body somehow. How the heck did you do that, Pokey? That is very creepy. I don't know if I want you following me around anymore. That is disturbing. Where are you? Oh. Oh, wait, there you are. I don't know what you did, Pokey. You, like, either you melded or turned into a flea or something. But, anyway. Alright, folks. I, I think this is a good place for us to stop. Thank you very much for joining me on the very first episode of VA Let's Play Earthbound. I hope that you guys will enjoy the rest of the videos of this series. Until then, love yourselves and love each other.